Good afternoon, Roberto. Roberto Valencia is an alumnus from Mexico, really well known for many generations, that is back at UNESCO IHE because he is guest lecturer and he is in charge of one show course nowadays. Please, Roberto, can you tell me how many generations have you seen from UNESCO IHE and which programs have you studied in the Institute? Well, Maria, I started in uh, 1999 doing the ES&T so, uh, ES course, Master of Science. I finished in 2001 and I came back to Delft in 2003 till 2008 for the PhD program. But in that time, I think I have seen several about 10 generations uh, coming in and out of IHE, which uh, I made lots of friends in each generation. So you can imagine that my Facebook is uh, mostly people from IHE, from different generations, which is quite fun. And when you have the chance to travel somewhere, that, that somewhere is always someone who can give you a hand. So it was very funny yesterday or last uh, week that when you come, you met one alumnus also in the yes, plane. Yes, <laughs> yes, I, I, I met uh, one alumnus from uh, from Ecuador in the plane, and then I stayed in Quito one night uh, with uh, another friend, and uh, it, it's always a pleasure. People have been visiting Mexico also, and during my time here also people came from abroad for short visits and it's nice always to see your friends. How many years now that you have graduated uh, as a doctorand? As a uh, it was on July uh, 2008, so it's three years now. Three years now. Three years now. And what was about the topic of your of your thesis? My, you my, still remember? <laughs> my, my thesis was about uh, biodegradation in uh, bioreactor landfills. So basically we try to speed up the degradation process in a landfill, trying to control the, the entire anaerobic digestion process. And now you're back as a guest lecturer. How is that experience about? In which uh, show course are you I'm, uh, teaching? I'm, I'm collaborating with, uh, with Hank Luberdin and Martin Siebel, especially with Martin Siebel, in the solid waste management short course. And um, it's a very nice experience. I, I, I found it quite uh, quite enriched uh, experience for me. And uh, it's always fun to, to give part of the, the, the little experience that I have to, to participants. Um, I just finished my lectures today. And uh, it's always a pleasure to be back at, uh, at UNESCO IG. I, I always have said that this... Uh, it's like coming back home. This this was my home for eight years, and every year is like uh, I'm coming back to to my own home. That is very nice to hear. And Roberto was also very popular in the sport, in football especially. So whenever he is back, <laughs> we have the UNESCO IHE football. Championship called Roberto Valencia that took place last week. How was it? It was very good. My body still on pain from that experience. It's, it's always the case. One week later, still you're suffering from 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 the matches you play. But but it's it's, it's a fantastic uh, tournament with a lot of teams. This year there were twelve teams. There were very good teams. And we have a lot of fun, and it's, it's an honor to, to have a tournament call after you. And uh, not many people know the story behind it, but uh, it was class and Edwin has idea to, to call it like that. Because I used to be coaching with class during my PhD period, and um, when he was not able to do the practice, I take over basically and we got a lot of championships uh, as uh, I never played I have to be honest I never played with the team of UNESCO HE 
but I, I'm very happy to be part of the coaching team. And when I decide to go back to Mexico, they they give me as a farewell present this uh, this tournament and this uh, the they call the the tournament after after me and and that's that's a big honor and it's always it's it's always a pleasure to come back and, and give the trophy to the through the champions and, and of course to share. Uh, just talks, beers, and everything that is always very, very nice to it's, have it's you always, here. It's so always, always and fun. remember past times. So that is very nice. Where are you working now in uh, Mexico? Uh, I'm working for a research institute of the National Polytechnic Institute uh, in a campus in my own city in Durango, doing basically full time research, little teaching experience but uh, it's very nice and on the environmental science department and that's where I, I you can find me perfect every day there is something that you would like to add and to share with us roberto well for those who are uh, who has not lived the IH experience well i will recommend is is one of the best experience you will have in your life having in touch with so many people and for those who already have the experience of being here as an alumni or a short participant course i i will recommend you to keep in touch with your friends and with your mentors because that's how the IG family stay alive uh, a long time Thank you very much. I hope you, all your friends look at this video and till next year. Thank you very much. Okay, bye.